I can't fix all the things in Joe's life, but I do believe and I know that our, the dark place in us, the negativity in us is accumulative. It grows over time. You keep getting kicked down and it's another notch on the belt of accumulation that's pushing you to a place that you never wanted to be. I wish I had the tools to fix more of those problems. He's been burned by multiple places that were supposed to work on it. And uh, he's got a ranch, he has a use for it. He doesn't want a big crazy build, he just wants it running. Unfortunately, Joel has really been dealt a rough hand. He's dealt with financial issues, with divorce, with custody battles. Um, he's been hit with every hardship you can imagine. You know, he's a rancher, he loves his cattle, and the times have been tough with that as well. You know, he's just, he's not getting a break. He's catching it from all sides. And I, I feel terrible for the guy because he has a heart of gold. So Joel is also a veteran, and whereas it, he plays a little bit into the mission, a big part of the mission is finding that new sense of purpose and being able to provide that hobby and more adventures to veterans, first responders that don't have that outlet yet. This Jeep provides Joel the ability to utilize it around his ranch, make memories with his kids, and still even then possibly come out and enjoy some adventures with us, providing him that outlet and the, the recreational outdoor therapy that Requel Outdoor stands for. This is our one way to reach him, to take one thing off of his plate and to help him continue holding on to faith in humanity, essentially, you know. When he looks out and sees the accumulation of broken things in his life, I can take one of those off his, off his chart and make it, turn it in from right now, it's a negative thing in his life. But once we're done with it, it becomes a positive thing in his life from now on. Just wanna get this thing to where he can drive his kids around the ranch, check on the cattle, check on the fence, maybe drive it into town, and just have kind of a reliable little farm Jeep and uh, with some couple, you know, slight modern conveniences like a roll cage and better tires, pretty much. So there's a huge, huge mark there with, uh, with Joel's Jeep. It's not just another build. It is a, a build that brings a sense of purpose to somebody else's lives and makes the most for them. Fast forward through a 20 year army career that didn't end on the best note um, with a marriage that was kind of failing. Um, you know, when the Jeep kind of died, you know, I kind of took it as a symbol of, you know, some things, you know, going by the wayside. I mean, when you depend on yourself and your business to put food on the table, you know, if you've got a bad month, you know, it's just, it just doesn't take very many of those before you really feel behind the eight ball. Sometimes all the hard work in the world just doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to make it happen. You know, it's kind of like that Jeep. I just don't have the time and I don't have the money to, to fix it up myself. And no matter how hard you want, sometimes you can't wish things. You just have to kind of take a deep breath and kind of reevaluate and, uh, um, I've had to sell some cows that I really didn't want to sell. Uh, it kind of broke my heart, but you just got to kind of fight for another day. It was kind of a struggle. It was a great memory. It was kind of a sad reminder. But, you know, after a night of fellowship with fellow veterans, um, I got talked into, you know, giving them the Jeep and letting them see what they could do with it. And uh, right now they're hammering away on it and uh, looking forward to seeing what's done when they get it all done.